Well, it was a down year for the Oklahoma State Cowboys, but then again, they did win Bedlam, and Mike Gundy and his bunch hit the recruiting trail very hard. So hard, they scored a 6-4 quarterback out of Norman, Oklahoma, John Kolar who's a top 70 guy in the nation. He leads the class, and we all know how important the quarterback position is for Mr. Gundy's offense. The Cowboys also get a four-star running back out of Georgia, Chris Carson. Those non-conference games with the University of Georgia probably helped that. Darren Daniels, who had Texas Tech blood, his dad played in Lubbock, but decided OSU, and Burton's Lewis Brown, a big linebacker, a 6'6 guy, he should help right away. What about this Daniels kid, though? He seems like one of those guys uh, at a Bishop Dunn in the Dallas area that could really compete and, and start right away. Well, he's, he's a big body, and I think there's going to be some upside in terms of player development because he was a kid, Rick, that played both ways a significant amount of time. So he's really only had the half as much technical coaching as a, a, you normally would if he was, say, in a 5 or 6 eight program. How do you feel Gundy did? I mean, he always comes into Texas very hard. Uh, they can do it on the national scene. They have great non-conference games. Uh, that have gotten that exposure for those guys. Well, recruiting is really important to Mike Gundy. Okay, of all the head coaches, he really likes recruiting. He's a very active player in recruiting. He hires assistant coaches that will be significantly foot soldiers in terms of getting out there, making the contacts, and doing the work. Well, for more on the Oklahomans, let's head back over to Aaron's World. And that's where Greg Powers of Scout.com is hanging out. Yeah, we continue on with Oklahoma. You covered the Sooners for a long time, so very familiar with them. You talked about uh, Bob Stoops addressing various needs. Defensive side of the ball was a big one heading into uh, this offseason. How do you grade kind of their efforts in filling those needs? Well, I think they did a really good job. They flipped Prentice McKinney from North Carolina from South Oak Cliff. I guess South Oak Cliff had a pretty busy, busy day with J.F. Thomas flipping from TCU to Tech and Jamil Johnson flipping from Texas to Tech and of course OU slipping in there and getting McKinney who's another guy who will fit in with Will Sunderland and Khalil Hofton right there to, to have one of the best defensive back signings in the Big 12 when you throw in PJ and Banasaur from Pflugerville Hendrickson as well. Rodney Anderson another great running back. Kel Gundy seems to be able to really get the top guys at that position. Yeah, you mentioned Pflugerville Hendrickson. Samaj P. Ryan was out of there, and Rodney Anderson of Katy, a state champ back in 2012, will be joining him in that very deep state it's, of running back. It's going to be a crowded backfield, to say the least. Uh, he, you know, I think that maybe he will be a guy that you could see take a redshirt year just because you have Keith Ford, Alex Ross, and, of course, P. Ryan on campus already. The list goes on. And, well, again, as we noted, OU did not sign a quarterback for this class. They have four on campus. As Rick said, they did swipe one from the Sooners' backyard in John Fuller. Why was Kolar the guy for Mike Gundy and company? Well, you know, people will remember that there was another top-rated quarterback at that same high school last year, and he actually beat him out for the starting job. So it tells you right off of the bat – uh, that he's a guy who can get it done. And he's also a guy who fits in that dual threat kind of mode. People don't give him enough credit for being a, the runner that he is. He's a guy who can get it done on the ground as well. And his arm has a lot of upside. He's got a lot of pop. He'll need to work on some of his accuracy issues and a little bit of techniques of the position, but very good all around signing. How about the personnel they signed along with an arm like his? Great, great. Um, really solid defensive back or defensive line class we talked about lewis brown darian daniels and then you also have Todd bakari coming in right there as well but the guy to remember is chris carson he may be the guy he, they, a late running back flip from georgia he may be the guy that comes in the big 12 and makes the biggest waves you had tyree kill of course last year now they got a big 6'1 210 pound thumper yeah, and again, um, OSU, uh, worth noting, Kolar was the very first commit in that class. And so he has stuck with the Cowboys since, very uh, devoted to my gunning company, looking forward to get on campus as we toss it back to Rick and Randy with much more. Yeah, you always kind of wonder how the Bedlam win kind of plays and all that, getting a kid out of Norman, Oklahoma.